Zachary Ball here, uh, Senior Tech for Omnis Technologies. Today we're doing an unboxing of the Citera C200. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of different videos with this. We're going to start by obviously unboxing, showing you what you get, and then kind of doing some instructional videos after that. This just came in today, so let's go ahead and see what we've got. Obviously they give you the terms and conditions and quick start guide. unit itself. It's very similar to other NAS units that you see on the market. They also provide you with an ethernet cable, the power supply. They do provide one for America and then one for the European style plug. So this will work obviously either or. Let's go ahead and start unbagging this now. So obviously let's now go ahead and unpack the unit. So this is a it's a similar size to other NAS units you see on the market. It has gigabit ethernet and it has two USB slots. So you could add additional storage to this unit if you wanted to for a local backup or for some kind of other syncing process. They do provide, like I said, the European style plug, which obviously we've never used, but they do ethernet, power supply. And what we're actually gonna do is go ahead and put in the hard drives that we're gonna be providing to the client. So simply, pop the plastic panel off of the back. And for this particular client, we're gonna be installing two Seagate Iron Wolf four terabyte drives. These will be mirrored in a RAID 1. Citera has a list of hard drives that they recommend that are compatible. We'll be providing that in the description below. You're gonna look at that PDF and it's gonna mention some other models. It's gonna mention a C400 and a C800. According to the resellers, they are no longer making those units. The only thing that they're still making is the C200. So we'll go ahead and pop these in. It's pretty simple. They have them staggered. This one's going to go on the bottom. And then you're going to flip the other one on top. Put that in. And simply pop the plastic panel back on. And what will happen is when we boot this up, the Citera will notice that they're there and then we can create the drive array and then create the RAID 1. So that's about 10 pounds heavier now with those two drives. One other thing I'd like to mention is don't ever use normal hard drives in these units. They will not last long. You need to use the compatible hard drives that they recommend or something similar for a NAS unit. Normal hard drives for computers will not be good suited for these uh, units. One of the beauties of this device is it can do local backups only, or it can do local and cloud backups. So there's an integrated service in here that we provide. Uh, we use Amazon Web Services, AWS, for our backup our cloud solution. What we can do is push data directly from this to the cloud. So this is a hybrid solution. Back in the day, you used to have two different processes running one to a local drive maybe and then like carbonite running to the cloud this combines those two services into one completely takes the human factor out of backups and this I, this is one of those things i wish i would have known about five six years ago when they rolled these out they are worth their weight in gold for backups one of the other things that we do with our portal, with Omnis Tech Terra portal, is we check your backups weekly to make sure that they are running correctly. From there, we can administrate the size of the backups, the quotas that, that we have for clients. The biggest thing is monitoring and making sure that they're working. I mean, people assume that they work, but we, once a week, I will go through and check all of the Terra clients to make sure that they're actually up, locally backing up and backing up to the cloud and to make sure there's no errors on the physical device itself. Because this will actually, the portal will actually tell us if this is offline or online. So if there's a power outage and it goes down and it doesn't come back up, we can tell you that. So the other beauty of this device is it can be used as a local file server for a work group. Most cases we use this with a domain environment. We usually go with one server because this comes with one server license built in with 20 workstations. We have clients that we can actually scale this up. We have one client running three servers in one workstation for this. There's a lot of different features on here. You can do FTP, there's Apple Talk, there's lots of features. We have a client that runs it as a file server and just uses the cloud backup purely from there. That wraps it up for this. Stay uh, subscribed 
for more tutorials on the C200. There's a lot more to come.